Oh God. Oh, uh, choices. Oh God. Oh God. I mean, Adam, I really like you, but it was not on my plan to die with you. No. Today. Hi everybody, I'm Adam Salandro. We're here on Hollywood Drive with the boys, two thirds of the boys from People's Couch, Blake McIver and Emerson Collins. Hi. Right now, what are your favorite shows on? Scandal, How to Get Away with Scandal. Murder, okay. Shonda Thursday. Yes, clearly, TGIT. Um, yeah. And then our Wednesday soaps are Empire. Nashville and Empire. I just started Empire and it's just, uh, my life is so much better yeah. for it. It is, it's like, Every, it's the most ridiculous thing to ever happen in television. I read somewhere someone said like every episode is like the season finale. I said that on the people's yeah. 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 season premiere. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> Whoops. Well then. Be like thanks You're for putting me. <laughs> yeah. What do you think of the Muppets? I did say this on the show, but like once you have a good line, repeat it. I'm uncomfortable with the Muppets because all I can think about is there's a grown man with his hand up their ass <laughs> the whole time. And you might as well repeat your lines. I'm going to quote them to I other mean, people and not quote uh, you anyway. <laughs> like it's just weird that it's supposed to be for children, but it's all really subliminally about fisting. It's Too much? really. No, no, or not enough. Broad City. I, I haven't watched any of it, and I know people really love it. I just I haven't gotten to it. it. It seems to be my kind of uh, girls in their early 20s. That's what I'm relating to in life. <laughs> you guys are obviously big online, have a lot of fans, a lot of love. That's great. I want to know about the trolls, oh. how you deal with them. It's been an interesting journey for me with this particular issue. I've had to get braver. As soon as people discovered who I was in college, like at the birth of Facebook, Yeah. Um, it was an immediate, like, horrifying thing for me. Like, at one point, it was actually, during college, it was so bad that I got a call from the FBI one day saying that there are multiple death threats and we've corroborated certain evidence from certain people that could actually pose a physical threat to you. Uh, so... Is that just from, like, your childhood stuff yeah. that they found you? Yeah. In case you don't know, he was on Full House. The Little Rascal. What do people know you more for between those two, do you think? It's a pretty even split between yeah. those two. It's funny, it's, it depends on what, you know, spoke to people in their childhood. Yeah. So he gets death threats on the internet and people really don't like my hair. So it's kind of the same. <laughs> the same. It's kind of the same. But I sort of always challenge people, like, don't let a stranger on the internet hurt your feelings or ruin your day. Right. Like, you don't know them. Right. In full disclosure, sometimes it's easier than others. Yeah. But if you don't like, like, us being campy and queenie on the people's couch on a reality show because you take yourself super seriously right. and you don't like that sometimes I come off like a stereotype, right. girl, bye. <laughs> but it is interesting because most of the people that come for us the most about the show our gay guys. Yeah. Oh, and I always course. find it interesting that aspect of our community where we sort of eat our own. Yeah. And it's like, I'm sorry, I grew up in suburban Texas with glasses and braces and sang in the choir and uh -huh. played in the band and did not play football. I basically was not a person. So as a grown up, if I want to sashay down Santa Monica Boulevard as though it's a runway on America's Next Top Model, you're going to roll your eyes at me because I'm too queenie for you or I'm some kind of stereotype. Oh, I'm so sorry. What do you hate about yourself? I was going to say, right? but that's, that right. is what it is. It's hard to remind yourself of that, but you have have to because really who's sad at the end of the day you or them that had to feel they had to say it yep. I'm really sad at the end of the day yeah. I'm, I believe that but they're even sadder <laughs> they, but it is I do always sort of find it funny that they're like ah oh, those bitchy queens I'm like okay first of all like obviously like this is nonsense commentary on television. You want to talk politics and the Syrian crisis? Right. I can meet you there too. Also, we can all be multifaceted homosexuals, Adam. And they were. I don't know about me, but also, <laughs> thank you for all you do, both of you. Well, thank for you. This, oh. For this community and keeping us. I don't know. We, 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 we bring our just, snarky nonsense to the table. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. 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 Tag me.